You know, I, I was at a wedding once and I heard the pastor in the homily, he said this, he said, now that you are married, you are tasked with opening up the doors to the cathedral of your life and inviting people in. And I feel like that is so be such a beautiful image of what discipleship can look like, especially in the context of a parish and, and community. We're just, we're opening up, come and see, you know, come follow me. Let me show you what this life could look like. And, and, I, and I've had this image of even what it is to give a tour of a, of, a, of a church. You walk around, you give them the space to kind of ask questions, to think, give them space for silence, but you also are there for when they need you. And I think that's what's a, a beautiful representation of that. And, you know, we've been talking so much about a, a parish and the role of what that is in discipleship here in, in the diocese and all, and all across the world. This was God's plan, that we have these as our kind of strategic anchors of how we bring God's love into the world. And I think that's a good segue into the next uh, model that Jesus shows us, and that's the importance of community. And he says, remain in me, you know? And we cannot live discipleship alone. And I think that that's where it, it may be, where we, we've been in the church the last number of years is, trying to figure out how we do this in the context of community. And I, what, what I would love to do is just talk just briefly about what do we actually mean when we say a parish? I think to define our terms and, and, the, and the plan behind that in, the, in, the, uh, in this model of discipleship here. But there's this great story about a man by the name of Jan Tiranowski. He was a humble tailor in his mid forties when he kind of started to answer this call in Krakow, Poland around the time World War II was going on. He felt this call to invest in his parish. And so what he did was started these living rosary groups. So young men from the parish would join these groups and, and he would pour his life into these young men, show them the way of Jesus and, and how they can live this life in the church. And the story goes, uh, like 10 or 11 of these guys became priests out of these groups. One of them was a guy by the name of Carol Watiwa, who became St. Pope John Paul II. Incredible. I think, oh my gosh, one humble man's yes to serve as a disciple of Jesus in the context of his parish literally changed the world.